All right, Coach. Barn burner. Yeah. 27-24. It comes down to the wire at the end yeah. versus uh, St. Paris Graham. You know, yeah. here in a small packed gym on a Saturday. Long bus ride. Yeah. Talk about that duel and what, what, you know, what did it ultimately come down yeah. to for well, you guys? Well, uh, great for wrestling, number one. You know, great that, you know, we have the opportunity to do this and wrestle. Tough day for us, great day for Graham. They were prepared, they wrestled well. Uh, came down to bonus points, uh, kind of thought where it would come down to. And uh, they came up big, they competed hard, they went after points. Uh, I had some some bright spots, not a whole bunch though, okay? Some of my guys didn't fight as hard as they know how to. So that was, uh, that's tough, that's tough to swallow. And uh, like I just told the guys, you know, yeah, Graham's prepared and they wrestled well, but you know, we work hard for this, and we work too hard to, you know, to, to give up bonus points like that. So, uh, you know, not the result we want, but the good thing is it's uh, January 2nd today, 3rd? Yeah, 2nd. So we got a lot of time to the end of February when, uh, when you know, we go to the national tournament. Requeer back in the lineup for you yeah. at 132, I believe. 132, yeah. You know, bringing him back, that's huge. That's a shot in the arm for you guys. Yep. And I, I like the heavyweight, man. Yeah. Have you seen a heavyweight hang 24 on the board, Neil, coach? And Neil did that through the summer. Uh, he was at 195 last year, decided to go to heavyweight, and it's tough to put on good weight. And uh, so all his success he's finding right now is a heavyweight. That was summertime that he put it in. I mean, he's up to a good, you know, 235, 240, and it's good weight. And he's working it hard at keeping it on. He lifts like an animal. So, um, yeah, he's uh, headed off the Air Force. They're, they're lucky to get him. Looking at this, I, the season, you guys can still win a national title, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, you got a ton of teams in front of you. I think you go to yeah. Philadelphia for the, the flow duels. Correct. Um, and, and then obviously the prep national schedule. There's no question you guys can't be the number one team in the country. What do you say to the guys after a loss like this, and how do you still come back and win a national title? Right. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the challenge, you know. Uh, you can beat them down, but that might not get the result we want. So I, I wasn't happy, you know, because a couple things were effort-related, and when it's effort-related, we can control that. Uh, but there was good points, and that's the beauty of our schedule. We can bounce back. We go to Oklahoma next weekend. You know, we go to Geary. So, uh, man, we're going to be right back in the thick of it you know, next Friday morning. So uh, we're right back at it. By no means is it an ender. It's not, again, not the result we want, but hey, we got a lot of wrestling left and we just got to get our minds right to go do it. How many more shots at some do you get? Three? Two. Uh, so we go uh, the duel the 23rd at home at Blair, and then we got the national prep tournament. So three more shots at them. You know, two. Yeah, two more shots at them. <laughs> You're a Naval Academy yeah, grad, yeah. Coach. Come on. You're okay. talking to a Kent State grad here. But yeah. looking at that, well, you know, how do you, you guys got to get up for those matches? What do you say yeah. to the guys about those? Right. And th those are important that we see them try. And, you know, they'd be tough if it's, you know, peaking every week and every weekend. We want to do the best we can every weekend, of course. But our, what's important to us is that national prep tournament. So that's what we'll work for. So today, again, about getting better. Uh, you know, we want the result to take care of itself. But walk away from this learning something. Walk away from this that, man, hostile environment, yeah, calls don't go your way. It's the way it's going to be. And I'm guilty of it about getting on the refs. I should have kept my mouth shut, you know. But you're not going to get the calls, you know, not, not here. And I'm not saying it's, you know, unfair or anything like that. But I'm just saying you got to deal with a hostile environment and, and get the job done. Singletary looked like almost frustrated at some points in that match. That was kind yeah. of bizarre to me because head and shoulders are, are better than the guy, you know what I mean? Beating the guy, pushing him up, right. taking him down at will. What do you say to a guy like that? Yeah. That's a guy you need to, to keep his head Correct. and to get, you know, yeah. he needs to get the bonus point like the Moore brothers got the bonus right. points for Graham. What do you say to him? Right. It's about focus. And, and we said in the beginning, hey, it's going to be, you got to do your part. Your part might be getting bonus points. So don't let it be a 4-1 match. Like, hey, this is what we talked about. Your job. What's your job? My job is to get bonus points. Well, then go again. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll work on it. Taking this job, is it anything like you imagine? You were at the Naval Academy for a really long time. Yeah. You wrestled there. You coached there. Yeah. How much different has the change been for you as far as a coach right. to now, you know, you're coaching college level, cream of the crop athletes. Right to now coaching cream of the crop yeah. prep kids? Yeah, I would say it's way more involved uh, than it ever was on the college side because, you know, I'm with these guys 24 hours a day, almost literally. I mean, I, I live in a dorm with my family and the wrestlers. So 
uh, I'm around them all the time. So it's a lot of involvement. It's a lot of time. You know, in Navy, you would you know, they go away. You go home. You go to a house. You know, now I see them at night. I see what they're eating. I know when they're waking up. I know if they're going to class. Like, I'm just around them all the time. So I would say it's a lot more involved uh, than what I was coming from. Uh, and, uh, and that's good because you're really... I mean, you're molding them into young men. That's the whole deal. It, it's about the wrestling, uh, but more importantly, it's about, you know, how they're growing up, who the role models are, who they're hanging out with, uh, all that kind of stuff. So don't get me wrong. You know, I want to be successful, but it is about them growing up and figuring this thing out. All right, Coach, how long is the bus ride home? Yeah, like eight and a half hours. It's going to be longer now? It's going to be a lot longer. Right, it's going to be a lot longer. All right, great duel to watch, Coach. Yeah, you got anything else for me? That's it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks for the time. You got it.